Those of us who knew Javier Valdez will always remember him wearing his trademark hat. The award-winning journalist dedicated his career to writing about the connections between organized crime and corrupt politicians. Valdez was the founder of Rio Doce Online News and author of several books about drug trafficking in Mexico. Months before he was murdered, Valdez told CGTN the powerful Sinaloa cartel controls much of his home state. They decide who will die or when they can steal your car. They put journalists like me on a sort of blacklist and they know our names. At any moment, they can decide to kill you. This past Monday, gunmen pulled him from his vehicle not far from his office. They filled his body with bullets. One day after Valdez was murdered, journalists and other citizens gathered at Mexico's interior ministry to mourn his death. Hundreds of people have turned out this night to demand that the federal government investigate the murder of journalist Javier Valdez and other journalists who have been killed in this country. Like so many foreign correspondents based in Mexico, journalist and author Joan Grillo also knew Javier Valdez personally. They met in a bar and talked over drinks. Grillo recalls the slain journalist's eloquence. His last book was Narco Periodismo, it was about journalists covering drug traffickers. So his last book that he was actually writing about the issue of journalists in this world, uh, uh, and when he was finally killed, but he was very, very articulate talking about all these issues as well. Those Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto met Wednesday with 24 state governors, telling them that journalists continue to be murdered in Mexico because so many of these cases go unpunished. It is the obligation of the entire Mexican state to grant journalists guarantees so they can perform their profession, especially in the face of the threat posed today by organized crime. Human rights organizations say the murder of Javier Valdez and other journalists constitutes one of the greatest threats to free speech and democracy in Mexico. Frank Contreras, CGTN, Mexico City.